Welcome, the War Chief of Blight is back with another epic video. Hi, my name is PBG, but you lovely people are more than welcome to call me Peebs. Shadowlands really was the worst expansion Warcraft ever released. That part we ain't debating at all. And it was for many reasons. Okay, we're not going to beat that dead horse. However, dead horse, get it? It's about the afterworld. Anyway, that was dumb. Anyway. What I did want to say is that Cataclysm storytelling was worse. Little disclaimer. We are going to be looking at the Blizzard products that were released. We are not going to be attacking people behind the scenes because no. Just just no. If that's what you were looking to do with this video, no. Mm -mm. Alright, so first off, let's look at what we know from Blizzard directly. First off, we know that Cataclysm storytelling suffered a bit because of the time crunch that was required to redo all of the quests from vanilla. It's a lot. It's a lot. And they listen, they did it beautifully. Vanilla turned out great. It flows. And I'm not gonna lie, there's some iconic moments that still to this day have some of my favorite quest lines in any game. Punching Deathwing in the face. Yes. So we know that they did really good. But we also know that the time really affected the main story. And I think it was only of the first patch. Don't quote me on that. But if I'm mistaken, it definitely suffered. Now, Shadowlands, we were told, was not cut short. This was how it was supposed to be developed, even if it was a shorter expansion in timeline than others. Now, we also know they did stuff on the fly. They changed shit as they were going. Let me give you an example. Daddy Denathrius? Yes, that is his name. Yeah, he was supposed to die. Straight up, eh, gone. But he did not, because it turns out that we, I, like him very much. Daddy, that's a daddy. Either way, he's still around, because again, they did that on the fly. So we know that they do stuff like that, but how much? And... That would actually be an interesting topic to cover or look into how much of that is done on the fly. So let's go back to Cataclysm. What was good? What was it? Let's talk. Mount High Jaw was actually excellent. It was a great zone. And so was Twilight Highlands. Honestly, they were really good. The only one that actually sucked was Vashir, which... You put an underwater level... Are you... Mm -mm. It didn't worked and to me it was obvious it wouldn't but there was it was nice to see thrall around as much as it was and i mean his story was kind of wonky going to get the earth elemental stuff and did i follow it all no did i understand it all no but whatever thrall's there yay green jesus we had some really cool dragons and dragon story blackwing descent is my favorite warcraft raid yeah, I just said that above Ice Crown. I'm sorry, I really, really liked it. And Archimedes, the blind dragon, best fight. I think it's the most innovative fun. That, But yeah, they had some really good raids. We had Bash at Twilight, Black Wing. We had uh, Firelands. Firelands was really good. Mind you, I didn't understand the story of that one, but I will not fault Cataclysm for it. It's a vanilla storyline, and I wasn't up on my vanilla reading, so... On me, that one we won't even consider. However, main story... I didn't know what the fuck was going on. At all. By the time Dragon's Soul hit... What's it doing in the Caverns of Time? Okay, I, I guess. Sure. Um, why does Deathwing have tentacles? What's a Dragon's Soul? Why did the dragons lose their ass? Expectiness to them. Thrall's having a baby? <sighs> I did not follow the story about halfway through Cataclysm. So I was long lost, long gone, had no idea what was happening or why. But here we are. And the Dragon Soul Raid, nothing wrong with it. It just lasted way too long. That's, again, we're not considering that for part of this. So I had no fucking clue what was going on. And yes, some of you are sitting at your keyboards going, how could you not? This is what happened and why? Hold on, we're getting there. Shadowlands 
had some really great moments. Bastion was in fucking credible. Beautiful story. Uther, Uther, Anduin, and Sylvanas had some actually some pretty good dialogue. Uh, Tyranda, we'll skip that one because a little weird, not a fan of how that kind of went on. We chased some sigils. Okay. Um, Maldraxxus kind of sucked. Not gonna lie. Corthia kind of sucked. Zareth Mortis, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm about halfway through it. We know how it ends. But so far, Cor uh, Zareth Mortis is actually really good. I'm really enjoying the questing to get to that point, and I'm actually kind of disappointed that I know how it ends, and that just and the ending kind of disappoints the rest of it, because the rest is actually pretty good. It's just that ending choice. Or, you know what? Actually, let's just talk about the elephant in the room. The jailer. The jailer is what makes Shadow Line suck. I'm sorry. I, I don't have a nice way to say it. Everything that involved him sucked. I love the zones. I love every moment he was there. It was an eye roll. It was this guy again. The Maw. This guy again. Horgoth. This guy again. And every time you've seen him, it was like, uh, meh. To have a bad guy that feels like a candle in the wind, where you're like, yay, goodbye, move on, kind of was weird. It's a really weird feeling that I hadn't had in a long time. And they that's how bad they, they wrote him in. I mean, he's a giant retcon. They went back into the story, they placed him in somewhere, and then made everything his fault. And I know hindsight is twenty twenty. okay? But think about this. How much would it have helped if we had Sylvanas, while she's letting the Teldrassi tree burn, go and, and right before she goes, burn it, it stops. You see her eyes twitch and she hears a man's voice in her head. Burn it. Go on. You know what you have to do. Burn it. And then it's time continues and that would have left the players going, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck's actually going on here? Another good example, again, just, just examples of what could have been done. Bull Jin is on the throne, dying. Imagine if you had Wam Samdi walking up where only he could see him, where only the player could see him. And all of a sudden, <sighs> he's hauled back. Again, just little things like that to just show something else is out there. We didn't need any hints or nothing more than just something's here. Something's pulling strings. If we would have had that back then, I think Zoval would have went over a little easier. It was there. The foreshadowing was there. Anything would have been better than what we got. And that's why it didn't go over well. And it still kind of what didn't go over well. He's dead. What did that change of our world? Fucking nothing. Nothing. People aren't happier. We didn't do any trees. We didn't... He's not there anymore. The guy we didn't know existed no longer exists. Yay! So the story sucked. I'm sorry. Like, the actual Zoval parts stunk. The rest, I, again, when he wasn't involved, Xerath Mortis, great. Bastion, great. Revendreth, great all pretty decent but man did they ever miss the mark with him so why is cataclysm worse than shadowlands when you buy a game you should be able to play it left to right and know what the fuck's going on even if you don't like the story you should at least know what the fuck is going on cataclysm failed it failed at that. It absolutely did. And there's nothing you can tell me that would change that. Again, if someone picked up the game, played it left to right. Didn't I release a video saying that Cataclysm didn't suck? Am I lying? No, I'm not lying. Actually, 
cataclysm had something very special about it that we all forget. The reason why cataclysm story potentially didn't suck is it took three books to understand it. That's right. Cataclysm was written under the assumption that you read them. And if you did, Cataclysm was mostly a love letter and you knew what was going on. Oh, there's the religious zealots. We are setting up for something big with Bastion of Twilight in Nazoth's realms. Oh no, there's a tentacle dragon. How bad Nazoth must have had it. Oh no, they're using a dragon soul. How much sacrifice did they have to do to make that happen? No wonder they lost their aspect. It all makes sense when you read the damn book. Suh. Not one, but three. Three books. I'm a firm believer that you should be able to play it left to right and get the story. I'm a firm believer that any game should be like that. You shouldn't have to look at outside resources of any kind, let alone paid resources, to actually know what the fuck is going on. Let alone the fact that Warcraft is a live service game that you actively paid monthly for. This was why... It drove me crazy. And then when I finally did read them, Cataclysm was like a light bulb. Oh my god, I get it. Now, I'm also going to like preface. I don't mind games that the storyline is basic. And then as you play more stuff, as you do quests, as you read short stories, it just, it, the world gets bigger, richer. I'm not minding that because the main story is there. But Cataclysm wasn't that. And that's why I'm going to argue that it's worse than Shadowlands. You may not have liked Shadowlands, but it was there left to right. Cataclysm was a shell of a story. And bonus points, if you're looking for an example of an expansion or story that books enrich the experience and the storytelling was excellent, Legion. The funny part about Legion is that the three books you had to read to get Cataclysm it was the same three books you had to read to get Legion. Well of Eternity. They're great books, by the way. Like, don't want to knock them. They're actually quite good. But Legion, you understood a story left to right. The only thing is stuff made more sense. Stuff was like, oh my god, is that Val Shira? Oh my goodness. The Ravens. Ah, oh, Soromar, not Soromar and the Night Bo Like, everything made sense. Even T. Rhonda's anger towards the Nightborn and why they went Horde makes sense. That stuff is incredible to me. That we got a great expansion that we all liked. And the people who read the books were like, God damn, this, this is better than you think it is. So yeah, in my humble opinion, Cataclysm is a shell. I, I, it's got to be the worst. It's not even a complete story. Where Shadowlands is a complete one, even if you don't like it. So, am I right? Am I wrong? Let me know in the comment section down below. Listen, keep it cute. Again, we don't attack people. I will be deleting those comments. That's not the shit that we're going to deal with here. If you like videos like these, you like lore, deep dives, you like look at other games, Final Fantasy XIV, I upload all the time. I stream all the time. If you're in the right spot. Just subscribe. Check it out. You won't get bored because there's a shit ton there. In the meantime, though, have yourselves a legendary night. Thanks so much for being here. And I can't wait to see you guys again on the next one. Bye. You know, they could also have Lore Walker Cho or Chromie come up and be like, Hey, just a reminder. Or, you missed this while you were taking a nap. And then a small, like, ten quest, quest line to introduce you to stuff before an expansion. Also, Blackwing Descent is still not up for debate. It's the best read.